So you're the Grey Warden, are you? You have Logan's hair. I, didn't I think, think I need to kill you now. Women Grey Wardens. Um. I don't think they made women Grey Wardens. Well, they do. So you say. <laughs> I am Dad obviously. Could walk up and say oh. he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. That much is clear. <laughs> we aren't gonna turn aside anyone who I wants could... to help them. Well, Kunari could, could technically become a Grey Warden. Nothing. There's nothing stopping them. Well, we do them. want to help however we can. Especially because Kunari aren't necessarily racial Kunari. A Kunari could be an elf. Mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Well, make sure that don't happen. Have good faith, man. We'll defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. Suddenly his been trying to hold us suddenly together. his voice isn't, isn't gruff easy. anymore. That's weird. Anyhow, you're uh, here, I'm gonna suddenly and back again. Me you're in charge. Uh, what can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool his refuses to even keeps talk. switching between gruff and if not we're to be gruff. ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. I'll go get that crotchety bastard's help. Uh, why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. So now I need to go Can't get him force out. Him to do repairs. <sighs> he said he'd rather die first. Um, is there anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Uh, tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of it's his workers. It's not going yes. to help Says if he doesn't there's... need any of us. Doesn't need any of us. He could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Um, carry on then. Right. Let's hope we see morning. So we have tell to go talk. To maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. We'll remember that. We do then? Anybody right. else I should be talking to? For a miracle. I mean, I swear that they mentioned somebody. Oh, and no, Perth on the hill. Right. Well, let's go take care of this Dwin guy and go talk to the blacksmith. Then we'll go talk to Perth. 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 Dwin. 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 Hi. Doors locked. Like this has been recently repaired. Hello. No, I should call on the door. There's no response. Break open the lock. No, lock picking. You definitely picked the lock on the door. <laughs> Screw you, I'm opening your house because you won't. Let's not piss him off by breaking the door down, though. Hi, Dwin. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Yep. Apologize, don't mean it. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Apology accepted. Now name's Dwin. Now get out. <laughs> Says he needs you for the militia. So what? You're recruiting for him? Yes. I'll tell you what I told Murder. He doesn't have an elf, a human, and a dwarf. That's some town. party there. Um, chances are better out there than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Then you're going Everyone to else die. Everyone can run around in the open waiting to die. You're the one who's waiting to die. You're not even trying to escape. Um... Did I change your mind? Maybe. Oh god damn Let's it. hear what you've got. Um uh, Been a good word with you with Bantigan or the Arl. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Damn straight, my persuasion Fine. is far too high. I'll throw in with the militia. Yeah. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Sure. I I, I guess. Can I get I know that I need to get into there, but I can't do it yet. That chest has a very plot important item. Um, anything else I can steal? Nope. Oh, we'll come back for Dwin later. Well, I mean, the item in that chest that Dwin owns. But I gotta do something else first. <sighs> I've got pictures of me in my hot costume on the wall that I got from Pax. And I keep staring at them and being really proud. I'm so proud of that costume. It needs some serious TLC, but I'm so proud of that costume. <gasps> okay. Dun-dun-dun. 
Okay, let's go talk to uh, the blacksmith. Let me in! Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. Um. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this Owen the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Oh? Who is that? What do you want? I want to use my persuade oh, skill. It's too damn high. For not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Mm. All right, all right. <laughs> Let me undo the lock. Doesn't let anybody else All come I in. Ask is that you don't make any trouble. Sure. Uh, I can do that. Maybe. Possibly. Not very likely. Hi. Make his breath. What is that smell? Alcohol. Like someone set a brewery on fire. Out Somebody's lots of Somebody's been drinking. Oh, Alistair. So I let you in. Somebody's been you drinking. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Yue, Grey Warden helping Ben Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? Yep. <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Hi, Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Uh, it smells like a brewery you near know, the mi Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Velena. is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Um, I can make you care. I'll rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like as you. As long as you help, go with and find I'll her. rescue your daughter. Provided any of us live through the night. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I agree with this I can plan. Do that much. I can, I can find her. Uh, I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. I don't make promises. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. <sighs> Fine. I'm not promising anything. I promise you'll find her. I'll accept that. There we go. It's something to hope for at least. Yeah. Is this a promise we will not keep? Oh god damn it, I pissed What's off this? Sten. I said nothing to you, human. Oh, All right, great. Then. It seems I have some work to do. Relight the <laughs> Pissed off Sten. I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Uh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as yes, possible. Yes, we need him. Then we need him to get them done by nightfall. Make repairs. If you need anything so we done? Can survive this. Well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Tan Stan disapproves. Wow, he disapproved a lot. And Liliana approves at least. Yay. Not great. That's one. Now it should go talk to Perth. Do 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 do. Let's, yeah, let's talk to Murdoch. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs. Yep. We need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough. I wonder what he could do if he wasn't drunk then. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Damn straight. We're not only ready, Murdoch, we're going to win. I hope you're right. We may because just be we're finished. Amazing. Folk. But we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. Mm, I still need to speak with Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Okay. I have a good feeling about tonight. Good. Great, now we get to go talk to a Templar. Ugh. Not the biggest fan of the Templars. I'm more of a mage person. Personally. You were in the Chantry. You are a priest? No, no. I was the lay sister of the Chantry. 
which means... Oh, right, he does know things. I lived and worked in the Chantry, but I did not take any vows. So you dabbled in priesthood, then? Oh, no. Dabbled in the priesthood? The sisters don't have the same sorts of duties as priests at all. So you were not a priest, did none of their duties, and took no vows, but you lived among yep. them? Yep. Yes. You were a house guest of the Chantry? A house guest um, of the Chantry. Sort of. <laughs> Uh, sort of. Oh, he is so... Stan is so confused about human ways. That's okay. Or, well, ways outside of the Kunari. Ways outside the Kuhn. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? Um... My lady will be proper. I am a Terran's daughter. Very well then, my lady. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of she, our she, She's of nice, but she is still a noble. For now, my charge Better is defending the village lady. from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. You oh, well, would probably be dead. Warden, aiding our defense. Perhaps all is not lost. Damn straight. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons. But my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. I don't think Otherwise, that's how it works. I do not know what works. else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Let's see what I can do? That gladdens my heart to hear it. Uh, carry on. As you wish, my lady. Make her watch So over. let's go talk to the revered mother, I guess. <laughs> To get some divine pro can they? they I distinctly remember that they can't do that. But I guess we'll find out when we talk to her. <sighs> Gotta go onwards. I'm running past your barrows. Don't hit me, I'm a Terran's daughter. You'll get in trouble for hitting a noble. I gotta do to talk to. I'm scared. Now. Let us pray. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. Pretty much. We are most grateful to you. Um, be grateful when you win the battle. I have my own reasons to be here. Can I stand by? Yeah. Be grateful when we win the battle. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce You know, myself. the Chantry has really I nice clothing. I Mother Hannah, I've always wanted to make one of them. this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? Pretty much. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Mm. Sir Porth needs holy protection for the night. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, uh -huh. a shield only the Maker can provide, oh. and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? <laughs> the Maker is a will watch thing, over him. You know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Because I tell you to and do it quickly. Um. But if you think, ah, uh, uh, nah. I'm all for religious freedom, but oh, this is gonna piss off Liliana. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, Aww. and I suggest you do the same. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't piss off Liliana. I thought I, I thought that'd piss her off. Huh. 
go home. Where's father? Why can't we go home? I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. I'm listening to this, that? guys. I... I guess so. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> no! This game's already made me tear up once! I'm not gonna do it again! She says as she... Remembers various parts of the game that are gonna make her tear up. <sighs> okay, let's do this. And I gotta go all the way back up to talk to Sir Perth. Great. Well, at least I got some enchantments on me, I mean, for the fight and stuff. If I remember correctly, it's very annoying. Perth, I need to talk to you. I'm gonna lie to you about your religion. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Only amulets with those two. Must we do this? The faith yep. that will protect us. Now these men must I come pick up heart, Liliana. Surely. Now I disarm. They are the same off. as the symbols worn by their priests. Great. Well, that would more than suffice. But it's not even magical. I do not approve of majory and such, but the symbols well, he is of the a are holy and blessed by the Maker, not the work of mages. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Oh, great. Right, yes, I'm ready to make There's my stand. Still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned, oh, great. Let's wait for Good nightfall. Luck, and may the Maker watch over us all. This is going to end absolutely terribly.